There may be questions about one candidate's claims of virtue and integrity. 12 News has reviewed text messages between Republican candidate Steve Montenegro and a female staff member at the Arizona legislature. Now, those text messages include a topless selfie sent to him by the staffer. Team 12's political insider Bram Resnick has the story. 12 News reviewed several dozen text messages between Steve Montenegro and the female staffer at the legislature, where he served for almost a decade. Montenegro's messages were sent from his cell phone. 12 News has verified the staffer composed her messages and sent the topless photo. We're not identifying her because she wasn't the source of the information for this story. Now, you're probably wondering what Steve Montenegro has to say. So are we. The problem is he's avoided our questions about the texts and vanished from the campaign trail. Republican congressional candidate Steve Montenegro is a married man and a church minister. We need leaders of virtue, honor, and integrity. Questions may be raised about that claim. Based on a 12 News review of Montenegro's exchange of text messages with a female staff member at the Arizona legislature. The staffer sent Montenegro a selfie posing topless in a bathroom. Here's a transcript of their texts. You'll have to delete these, she told him. Montenegro responded with the word snap, apparently urging her to use Snapchat, a messaging app where photos and messages vanish after being viewed by the recipient. The text messages also reveal Montenegro's worries about the sexual harassment scandal engulfing his former boss, Republican Congressman Trent Franks. Montenegro was still a member of the state Senate when he texted the staffer on the afternoon of December 7th as Franks was resigning. Can you call me? The staffer? Yeah. Montenegro, it's crazy stuff happening. The staffer, did someone call you out? Montenegro, nope. The staffer, are you afraid someone might? Montenegro, just lining my ducks in order. The staffer, yeah, you would never have to worry about me, so I hope that puts you at some ease. 12 News does not know the exact nature of the relationship between the staffer and Montenegro. Montenegro and his campaign manager did not respond to several calls and text messages seeking comment. No one answered the door at his Goodyear home on three visits over three days, even though we saw people inside. I interviewed Montenegro earlier this month on Sunday Square Off. It was the day after the House voted to expel Republican Representative Don Shooter for sexual harassment. The Capitol scandal affected lawmakers, staffers, and lobbyists. I asked Montenegro about his relationships at the Capitol. Can you tell CD8 voters you've treated all people at the Capitol, staff, lobbyists, and members with respect, and never engaged in any improper relationships with any of them? Of course I can. There are no allegations of sexual harassment against Steve Montenegro. Since word of this story leaked out last week, Montenegro has been a no-show at campaign events for Republican candidates. Polls show he is one of the leaders in the 12-person Republican primary next Tuesday. Graham Resnick, 12 News. A wrong